This is Castle in Love with the Wind, the dream of one man over 22 years ago, Yorgi Tumpalov. With the help of 10 gypsies without ever taking a loan, together they have constructed this masterpiece. Yorgi is from a village in northern Bulgaria. He decided one day that he would build a castle because of his love of fantasy. The castle is still under construction today, and what they have built so far is absolutely stunning. On 45,000 square meters of land in Sojopo, Bulgaria, sits the modern wonder of Castle In Love With The Wind. Built from 20,000 tons of raw, hand-gathered, uncut marble limestone from the surrounding area, it took nearly six years for the 11 of them to gather the stones. Yorgi, having no education in construction or architecture, began by drawing a simple cross in the dirt, marking where he would build his castle. Over the subsequent 22 years, Yorgi and his team would work step by step to a feat that many would have thought to be impossible. Opening the first year of construction, they began running tours and marketing the site as a tourist attraction. With their keen sense of business, they were able to generate enough cash flow to make this project a reality. It was possible because they poured all of the revenue that they generated each year back into the construction of the castle. They built it up layer by layer, kind of like a snowball gathering snow rolling down a hill. It's quite clever when you think about it, because none of these people were monetarily rich to begin with. It was all through shrewd creativity that this was constructed, an act of faith in a sense. As you enter through the gate, you are filled with a sense of walking into a different world, and you are greeted by a hand-carved marble statue of the creator of this magical place in a stunning view of the castle itself. Now the interior of the castle is not yet complete, but the castle grounds have more than enough to seize your imagination. If you take a left when entering the grounds, you come to the koi pond surrounded by a glorious garden, decorated with gifts from all around the world. If you continue down the path alongside the castle, you come to the wine cellar. This wine cellar has been used by many diplomats as a gathering place. Jorge and his team, as they have grown through the years, have come to very good relations with many governments and international businesses. One of their goals is to eventually have rooms in the castle where they will be able to accommodate ambassadors from around the world. At 8 meters below the ground, the wine cellar is a climate-controlled area and stores the wine from the grapes produced on their off-site farm. Coming out of the wine cellar, if you continue down the path, you come to an open square, and just on the other side of this square is the family chapel, which was designed to be a universal chapel for all creeds and cultures. Decorated with more Chinese hand-carved marble sculptures, the chapel is a beautiful place to connect. Continuing around the castle, we come to an open plaza with another stunning view of the castle that makes you wonder if a formerly uneducated man from a small village in Bulgaria can create this without ever borrowing money. What is it that I am truly capable of? Continuing around the east side of the castle, we come to the open outdoor ballroom where many weddings, festivals, and other celebrations take place. A castle wouldn't be complete without an outdoor terrace where the local peacocks can gather early in the morning for a group grooming session. Under the terrace is a restaurant, and you can dine like royalty on the gourmet local food produced by Castle In Love With The Wind's off-site farm. As we continue alongside the man-made five meter deep pond, you can enjoy the views of the wild swans who roost off site, but they enjoy the safety within the castle walls. Although the ducks must beware because in the pond lives multiple fish near two meters long that fancy fowl for a piece. Moving east, we come by the exotic zoo, where the castle meets the standards of international care organizations. A castle must have a stable, and in the southeast corner of this property is where the horses are cared for and where guests can ride through the ring, and the more experienced guests can ride through the local mountain landscape. There is an open garden where the castle has hosted the international archery competition next to their custom-made marble fountain. As mentioned before, the castle's interior is not yet complete, but there are two rooms that are. And those two rooms are game rooms, where you have one hour to figure out a means of escape. 
We move on to the gallery where the castle has many originals as well as replicas of ancient artifacts. The local museum of Sojapol gifted Castle in Love with the Wind this skeleton. The legend says, this is the skeleton of a vampire. The gallery floors are made of authentic Pakistani onyx. Above the gallery is the office and the meeting room. In the meeting room, you can admire the castle's wall of awards and letters of recognition. From the Bulgarian government declaring the castle the most interesting and most visited tourist destination in all of Bulgaria to awards from the American Architecture Association. The meeting room is decorated in many gifts from local famous hunters as well as these painting things. I really have no idea what they're called, but they are basically this image made by tying tiny knots together and they were made by women in North Korea. Castle In Love with the Wind has their own flag, currency, and anthem. And rumor has it, they're in trajectory to become a sovereign nation. Now that might just be hearsay, but we'll see what happens. I want to thank Yorgi and Yanko for inviting us to the castle and giving us a touring, allowing us to share with you this amazing story of a man from a village in northern Bulgaria, just a normal man that decided that he wanted to build a castle, and over the next 25 years, he did. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, of course, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more castles on this channel. Thanks for watching. Big love. See you next week.